Jesus. Rusty from Spirit Halloween as companion to the Sitting Scarecrow. Now, I got news for you. There probably will not be a Sitting Scarecrow unboxing because when I got home from school today, he was actually supposed to be here tomorrow as of recording. This is June 1st right now. I just saw him sitting there in the family room in his chair. Apparently, my dad had set him up and I decided to try to turn him on and he was in the up position and he screamed. Then he went back down and uh, so I instantly knew he was broken because I had seen a couple others like that and I was like, dang it, I knew there was going to be something wrong with this scarecrow. That is until we decided to start to take him apart and we noticed that basically this is how it works. So there is like a circle thing with two pegs on it and it spins and the head is on a spring. So it spins and it's and basically it's like the pin right here is holding it and then it moves it and then it jumps up and that's what causes the head to pop up and then and then when it comes back around it pushes it back down and then the relay switch is on the other pin and when it finally touches that pin that's when it stops so the problem is that the relay switch gets bent to the point where it's just a hair too late where it won't um where it'll make this guy jump up again so i think i turned him on yeah he is uh, I fixed him, I was able to just bend the relay switch back. Um, so, yeah, I probably, he's never even been taken apart. Like, I've had to take him apart to bend the relay switch back to get to the relay switch. But he hasn't actually been taken apart as in, like, taking out the pole and stuff. He came all set up, apparently. So, I'm just going to leave him like that. And I'm probably going to put him away in a couple days. And then, if, when I end up taking him out again around Halloween, then I'll do an unboxing for him, probably then. But I'll also be doing a comparison between Rusty and Sitting Scarecrow. The reason that I brought Rusty out, no, it wasn't to make Sitting Scarecrow not afraid. It was to do a prop comparison. So let's get right into the unboxing. Opening up the box here, we have this. I don't think that's what you're actually supposed to be seeing when you first open up the box. When you first open up the box, I believe it's actually supposed to be the other way. But, um, aha, uh, it is. I remember because we got him on uh, the 50% off sale for 100 bucks for a rusty. And, um, and, you know, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, so then I remember him, all his parts spilling out in the back of our car. And that's the only reason why I know it was in the other way. Um, but I guess this is actually the first time I've ever done this, but I guess let's read his story since we're already here. Also, um, if you see like stuff like this, that's because, um, in the deal with him, we also got a projector. That's what it was in the video or the little picture that I posted on my community tab. It's right there. It's actually projecting out there right now. So that's why. Um came with like six discs. I can read through them at the end of the video because I was going to go through them in the Sitting Scarecrow video, but obviously there won't be one. So I'll just go through them at the end of the video. Alright, let's read this story. Old Man Rusty was everyone's friend. He'd have your back till the very end. 
he'll he'd lend a hand to help you out. He never complained. He never pouted. But then one day, Rusty changed a bit. His eyes went dark. He lost his grip. Instead of helping, he'd sit all day. Everyone just watched him race away. He'd hold the chainsaw tight in his grip. And if he sees you, That was a story. I mean, it's okay, but my friend actually, like, I used to tell him like these stories, and he actually came up with a better story for Rusty. And obviously, he didn't really like write it out. He just like kind of told it to me. So this is basically how it goes. Rusty was a lumberjack who used to chop down trees with a chainsaw. Though another lumberjack working in the same forest once, um once chopped off, like, chainsawed a tree down, and it fell on Rusty and injured him severely. And ever since that day, he, he hasn't been the same, and he's been holding a chainsaw sitting on his front porch, waiting for that man to come back so he can take his revenge for his chainsaw. So, actually, I think that story is better it, I think it has a better plot line, and it could even fit around like this one. It could be like intertwined. So I really like that idea. So we got some instructions. I still can't. One of these days I'm gonna nail the camera. One of these days I'm going to. We got his bowl, and we got. Ow! Did you just he kicked me in the face? And we got. Him and that's that, that, that's all. Wait, adapter. Come on, adapter. Okay, come on. Adapter. Yeah, adapter. Him. He's like, let me in the frame. I want to see. I want. I want. I want to be a part of this. This video is about me, so uh, yeah, yeah do, do, do that or you will get the chainsaw. Chill, Rusty, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Give me that chainsaw. Ow, ow. So yeah, the chainsaw's attached to his hand. Um, this can be a uh, like position, but yeah. Uh, then, so first basically you gotta, actually no, I'm pretty sure first, do is you pull them up. And you unzipper his butt. Butt ox has been unzippered. Level one. Alright, then you snap his pole on. Basically like all techie city props. This guy included. Ah. All right, we've gotten this far. So now I'm gonna, uh, just gonna unzipper this back part here. And if you've been storing him right, then when you put his arms on, they should be up like this. I don't know, this is kind of turned into an instructional setup even though I don't do instructional setups. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Tech. The purpose of this instructional video is to show you how quick and easy it is to set up your rusty animatronic for Spirit Halloween. The parts included are the head, body, and arms, and chainsaw, 6 volt, 2 amp DC adapter, and candy bowl. If you're not using the 6 volt, 2 amp DC adapter included, the only items you will need to set up the item are a screwdriver and four AA alkaline batteries. We recommend taking all of the parts out of the box before you begin your setup. Alright, I, I, I bet that is like the actual word for word techie thing. And I still haven't gotten the actual pull in.
stuck to my hand. I'm just trying to get his chainsaw through his arm. It's not going through for some reason. There we go. Now, just do that. And put the cap on. And kind of position him how you want him. So he's in the position where he's not really in any position right now, so he's gonna kind of be like this. That's how he's gonna be. So, he's gonna position these right. You know, uh, you know, no, I'm gonna say that for further comparison. I was gonna compare something about them, but yeah. So, I'm gonna just plug in his uh, bowl right here. And one time, I was wondering why they didn't just have the bowl here, like a normal sitting scarecrow. That is until I put it up there and tried it. Oh! Ah! He's chopping off my arm! So, that is Rusty and sitting scarecrow right next to each other. It looks rather cool, even though you can't even see Rusty, his chainsaw. Let me just move that up a little bit. There you go, now you can. So, He's amazing. I'm just gonna move his bowl back down. Um, uh, his adapter is right here. And I'm gonna run it through here. I'm gonna adjust his volume. I think I might have it all the way up because that's what I did for the prop collection. And I do not remember really adjusting any of the volumes before I put them away. So. Oh, oh, oh he's retracting. You okay? What's that? There he goes. And he's falling over. What do you expect? It's rusty. What do you expect? Speaking of that, I think the motor is failing on ours right now, actually. It just had some trouble going down. Hold on, I'm gonna hold him down and see if it has the same problem. Very faulty prop. Cool but faulty. Very faulty. I think that motor be, might be getting unplugged. Yeah. I'm gonna take that out. I think he uses the same mechanism as hitting Scarecrow for the release, and I think that mech is getting unplugged. All right, it's been about an hour since I recorded that last clip. I just did with this game. I didn't see any disconnected wires or wires that are coming disconnected. So I really hope this doesn't mean that he's about a break. But I have to plug him in one last time just to make sure that that wasn't just a fluke. So I guess let's go. I think something might be disconnected in there with the motor. I'm definitely going to contact Dr. Zombie, though he wasn't able to drop from um, 2019. I don't think he wants to be sold on my only in 2020, but even if that would still make them like three years old, four years old, they probably aren't going to have parts for this guy, and they didn't even have parts for Henry Hustle when I went looking. And that was like one year ago from when I went looking. So, he is probably going to just be like a static, sadly, but I mean, I can test them out one. Or, actually, this is being pulled a lot. We'll get an overview. Um, let's try. Candy. Oh, 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 oh
I gotta find some way to keep him down. I think it's a wire. You know, that kind of like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that kind of makes it more, look more realistic. <laughs> Well, at least now he's releasing. I mean, I'm not trying to give him a variety of what he's going to do. Okay, now he's working fine. Oh. Um. Relay issue? Third copy kid crop fail. First, twitching clown. Second, Henry Hopkins. Third, let's see. A really good one. Rusty is an amazing prop, so I hate to see him go. Kick your bowl. Yeah, bud. I'm gonna help it down. That's not even going down. Yeah, his motor doesn't sound good. I wouldn't feel right with him running on Halloween. Um, I can contact Dr. Zombie about this, but there's probably nothing I can do. Uh, I might be able to contact Morris, because I'm pretty sure Morris sells him. And I might also be able to contact Techie, because Techie, I know, they're probably, they're like the most, like, open company, like, They've been to legit, like, Halloween conventions and stuff, so, I don't know. I guess you'll hopefully be good at maybe he'll just start working again, hopefully. Maybe, hopefully. Be alright. His soul inside is being tortured. He's a tortured soul. We all mourn his loss. I'm going to bury him in the backyard now. All right, just a little voiceover segment here. I'm not going to insert a demo. One, because I haven't filmed it yet, and I kind of want to just schedule this tonight. And two, his chainsaw arms just totally stopped working. They're not even lifting up anymore. So there's not really a point to that. And I'm just going to probably record the prop comparison of him in Sitting Scarecrow tomorrow, so there's no big deal. You'll be able to see a demo of him as he is in there, probably. So, I guess I hope you enjoyed that video, and bye! Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video, and you can click here to watch my most recent video, here to watch a video that's recommended just for you by YouTube, and right over here, you can click to subscribe. Have a good one. Bobby K, out.